What's going on world? It's your man St. Uno back again for another one and in today's video we are going to talk about how and why spirits self-sabotage. Oh my gosh! And how to stop doing this, you know what I'm saying? Because self-sabotage is a very real thing. It's a very, um, you know what I'm saying? You've probably self-sabotaged at some point in your life. I know I have self-sabotage at a point in my life so we got to understand why we do these things right so we can learn how so we can call ourselves out when we witness those patterns happening again and say hey remember last time i self-sabotaged but in the beginning of it i didn't think i was self-sabotaging but now since i went through that experience okay this looks a lot like that last experience let me call this out so i don't self-sabotage again you know what i'm saying because if you don't have that awareness if you don't have that um, yeah, like basically that self-awareness about yourself, you'll continue to create self-sabotaging situations. And to an extent, um, self-sabotage is necessary, right? That is one thing that I want to kind of lay out in the beginning of this video. Um, you're never going to make it completely through life without, without self-sabotaging at all. There's no point in trying to completely avoid it because um, self-sabotage really... Um, and in, in when, when kind of, I don't, I don't want to say when done correctly, but when it's not a thing that just happens over and over, it, it does have a purpose in our, in our life and in our spiritual journey, right? A lot of times, self-sabotage is what actually leads us to um, a spiritual awakening or wakes us up to our true purpose in life, you know what I'm saying? Because all self-sabotage is, is kind of realizing and taking responsibility for, oh, okay, I am the cause for all of these external problems that I am going through, all these catastrophic external circumstances and situations that I am going through. Um, and once you begin to realize that this is you self-sabotaging yourself and that these aren't events happening to you and you're not some victim of cosmic circumstance, then this kind of wakes you up and sets you on the journey of, oh, okay, well, if I can cause all this bullshit to happen in my life, then I can also cause a lot of good shit to happen in my life. So now you're basically doing the same thing. You're creating circumstances and situations, right? But instead of doing them negatively, um, creating self-sabotaging situations, you're creating more situations that work in your favor. And like I said, we don't necess we're, we're not usually aware of this power until, until we use it against ourselves. You know what I'm saying? It takes us to really um, put our foot in our own mouth, you know what I'm saying, or shoot ourselves in the foot for us to really realize that, oh, okay, I'm the one that's running the show here. Um, a lot of the times, just due to indoctrination and how we're raised and stuff like that, um, we'll kind of just think that we'll be completely lost in the external world, right? So that's what... Um, that's what a lot of times self sabotage Well, we just get into it right there then. You know what I'm saying? I can hop into the notes now. You know what I'm saying? So how and why we self-sabotage. Um, we self-sabotage whenever we take a shortcut for a desire because in all actuality, there is no such thing as a shortcut. You know what I'm saying? Like on the, on, in life. But a lot of the times, due to the powers that be and the way the world is set up and stuff like that, a lot of celebrities, a lot of successful people, a lot of, um, you know what I'm saying, people that you just see um, in the world, since you don't know their entire story, you'll see them and these kind of puppets will be dangled in front of you because, oh, look at these, these people. They took a shortcut and they were able to make it in life. So you think that, oh, okay, that's just the way, because a lot of people just think getting your desires met is kind of what life is all about, you know what I'm saying, especially people in the quote unquote western world um which is a lot of the world you know what i'm saying at least in terms of the mindset not actually geographically western but just you know what I'm saying consumerism capitalism um it's all about getting your desires met right working in the external world so you can afford external pleasures and desires and be you know what i'm saying a high value man based on what you can or a high value woman based on what you can purchase or you know I'm saying or how wealthy you are and stuff like that and like I said there's never I'm never demonizing money or nothing on my channel you know what I'm saying I'm all about the dollar but we got to have equilibrium and understand that um this mindset of living completely for the external um a lot of the times creates self-sabotage 
situations, you know what I'm saying? Because we'll try to take shortcuts, right? For example, you may be, um, you may in your heart of hearts uh, want to live some sort of dream. You may want to cre be a creative or, you know what I'm saying, do, do music, do acting, do drawing, um, you know what I'm saying, all that, all the fun stuff, you know what I'm saying, be a videographer or something like that, right? But you may think that, oh, okay, these things require a certain level of money or a certain level of status. And they do. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. They do. But you may, over, you may overindulge into this energy and think, oh, okay, well, until I have X amount of dollars, I can't start that business. Or until I have X amount of, you know what I'm saying, money to show, I can't be taken seriously as a creative or as an artist or something like that. So you'll create a self-sabotage situation where you're working for things of the world um, because you think these things are going to buy your way to the top or buy your path to success when and then eventually you're going to create a catastrophic moment where it's like oh, okay damn I'm working this job and then uh, for some reason something happens where I can't even end up spending the money on the job on the things that I originally got the job for which is to pursue my creative passions you know what I'm saying and it's like damn well I just wasted five ten years of my life I might as well at least been going direct at that energy and trying to not even trying but just being what it is that I wanted to be doing what I wanted to do I would have been in a much better circumstance now as opposed to me trying to shortcut um, and get this monetary gain and then try to buy my way to the top when that actually don't exist you know what I'm saying you need to create certain energies and awarenesses and um, just basically practice and embody the life that you are trying to create and when you think you can bypass this shadow work this internal work by just doing something in the external whether that be money connections or something like that um, you're always going to end up in a self-sabotaging situation so that's one example but um, to think about it just very simply to give you some kind of real world examples of how and when you may have self-sabotage um, like I said it's any time that you're avoiding internal work so think about it this way um, and this happened to me like if you let's say in school or something you cheat on a test or you cheat on a on a project or something like that right because why you don't want to spend time studying and, and developing you know what i'm saying the actual knowledge it takes to just pass the test you know what i'm saying you want to spend time doing other stuff you know what I'm saying being lazy essentially so you say oh, okay i'm just going to cheat on this test and um da -da -da -da, do it like that boom um and then you end up cheating on that test but then you end up getting caught. The professor notices, hey, your answers look just like this person's answers. And y'all end up getting caught for cheating. And now, not only do you fail the test, but you also get disciplinary action taken against you and stuff like that. So you're in a much bigger circumstance and a much uh, more, you're in a bigger, you, you dug yourself a bigger hole, right? Because not only did you fail the test, but now you got to deal with them calling your parents and shit like that and you know, saying oh you're a cheater and you might get depending on what kind of school it is you might get kicked out and shit like that if it's at like a higher level institution or something so you know what I'm saying you basically self-sabotage because why you wanted something in the external um you wanted good grades you wanted to pass the test but you weren't willing to do the internal work right to actually achieve that thing the right way you um wanted to take a shortcut and that shortcut was, oh, okay, I'm just going to cheat and get the answers from da-da-da. Now, this is just an example. Don't get me wrong. I cheated my ass off all the time in school. Ain't nothing wrong with cheating. This system ain't shit. Until we got a school system that's not about learning facts and regurgitating bullshit. And it's about, um, you know what I'm saying, tapping us into our own true gifts and true natures. Then to hell with school and all that kind of shit. But it is just a perfect example to talk about the energy. So don't think, oh, St. Uno says I shouldn't cheat. No, I cheated all the goddamn time, and it worked out in my favor most of the time. You know what I'm saying? So don't get the game fucked up, too. But um, like I said, that's just one example to kind of illustrate these concepts so you can, you can see that I'm, what I'm talking about is not foo-foo. And it's like, okay, this is like because that did happen, too, though. There was a time where I did cheat, and, 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 it, and it led to all that. So it's like, damn, had I just done the work, and, you know what I'm saying, we would have been cool. And one had to go through all that, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then another example, and you see this all the time with rappers and celebrities and shit like that. Um, let's say an artist, they sign a deal, right, because they want to blow up overnight. They want to get popping. They want to get lit. They take that advance, and then three, four, five years down the line, you see the same artist. They're not as hot anymore, right? And all they keep talking about and all that they're complaining about is, oh, 
I'm trying to get out my label deal. Fuck the label. I'm trying to leave out the label. Oh, they they not letting me drop. They not letting me do this. Da 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 da. Well, what does that happen? They they're playing victim. They're complaining that the label, you know, what I'm saying is 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 keeping them down and not letting them do what they want to do artistically. But at the end of the day, this was a self sabotage situation because no one put a gun to their head and for. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta um. I gotta do my thumbnail. Cause I didn't do the thumbnail before. I be shooting my thumbnail, so I grab photos, I grab still images from these photos and make my thumbnail. So that's a thumbnail idea I had. So yeah, no one put a gun to their head and forced them to, uh, you know, what I'm saying, just sign that record deal. They thought, oh, okay, damn, yeah, once I sign this record deal, I can get lit. You know, what I'm saying, I can go buy a chain, I can go buy a watch, I can go buy a Range Rover. You know, what I'm saying, get fly a little video and shit like that. That everybody gonna think I'm lit and I'm gonna be able to blow up overnight, which that works for in this uh, moment. But since you took that shortcut route, it's not like a long lasting thing. So you don't have that true, genuine connection with the people who are consuming your music. So once they get tired of that, um, then you can't, you're not gonna be able to recoup and then your label's gonna hold certain things over your head and not let you drop. And then all you wanna do is just make music, you know what I'm saying? And, and then fuck with the people that the few individuals that do fuck with you with you genuinely but you can't do that because you bit that fruit you know what i'm saying you went for that desire of, oh i wanted to get signed real quick and blow up real quick so now you got to deal with those repercussions like i said we see that all the time with um with rappers and shit like that so that is eventually them self-sabotaging you know what i'm saying so in essence all self-sabotaging is all self-sabotaging is is getting lost in external promises and external desires, right? And doing so to avoid the necessary internal shadow work that we all have to do as spirits in life because life is about learning. Like, but like I said though, a lot of people, people think that life is all about getting your desires. You know what I'm saying? That's the big, that's the big, um, that's the big battle that we all got to deal with. We're taught and we're indoctrinated to think that life is just about getting what we want, getting what we want, getting what we want. And it's like, no, life is actually about learning what we need to learn. And once we can just swallow that pill and, and learn what we need to learn in life, then eventually over time, it may not happen on your time. You know what I'm saying exactly when you want, but this will give you the, the, the proper mindset and awarenesses and you know what I'm saying chakra systems and stuff like that to actually get what you want and keep what you want and get what you want without quote unquote selling your soul or having to do some strange things for a piece of change because you did it quote unquote God's way. You know what I'm saying? You 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 earned these things. You you embody that energy. You know what I'm saying? You weren't lost in the external. You you figured out that my internal creates my external. So I'm not gonna avoid the shadow work just so I can get the external representations real quick and dangle it in front of other people and say, look at me, look at me, I'm lit, you're not. No, because that's just at the end of the day hiding um a certain insecurity, you know what I'm saying, or hiding you know what I'm saying, uh, a certain a lacking that you have, where it's like, don't try to hide that lacking with external representations. Deal with that lacking, you know what I'm saying? Go through that, do that shadow work, um, and it, at a point, it'll feel like that you're, it may even feel like, okay, the things that I want externally, I can never even have, but to an extent, you got to be able to let go of those desires. It's kind of like in the avatar, you know what I'm saying? They have a good um, little chakra uh uh it's you can type it in on youtube it's like a avatar explains the chakra and then when he gets to the crown chakra it's like all right man you got to let go of katara and he's like what the hell no i love katara why would i why would i let go and it's like trust me you just you got to let go of everything you know what i'm saying and then once you're able to let go you know what i'm saying because katara that's like love that's like who he's in love with so you got to let go of that dream relationship you got to let go of that dream title that dream job that dream house that all that dream energy, you know what I'm saying? Once, yeah, it's cool for what it is, but you can't get too lost into the 12th house, you know what I'm saying? Because then you'll just be lost in delusion land forever and you'll never deal with the reality. And the reality of the situation is you got to detach from all these things, you know what I'm saying? You got to be kind of, you got to kind of put in that work, got to be kind of dry, you know what I'm saying? Like it's opposite, six house Virgo, you know what I'm saying? And, and detach from all these things and get some structure and say, okay, well, I'm, I know I may want this, I may I love Qatar, but I'm the avatar, you know what I'm saying? A part of my mission right now, dealing with reality, is I got to get these chakras aligned. So I got to do whatever it takes to, you know what I'm saying, I got to kind of dry my heart a little bit and detach from these desires and realize that's not what all life's about. But then when you end up detaching, that's 
it's like it's like works in opposite and like that's the only way that you can actually um get these things forever it's like that saying um if you love something let it go and if it comes back to you then you never lost it or some shit like that i don't know but basically saying yeah you can't be too ah based on attachment and needing things to come a certain way god can't work with you whenever um, because now you're not dealing with all possibilities you're dealing with limited possibilities you're dealing with the possibilities that your mind created logic you know what i'm saying and that's basically what a lot of people do they think they're quote unquote smarter than god so they're always trying to logically create circumstances and situations that play out in their favor but eventually like i said this is going to lead to you meeting a shadow priest and you're going to you're going to see that no matter how smart you thought you were being, how you know I'm saying you thought you executed this, that, and third in the right way, some divine something will come and fuck the whole plan up, and it won't even make no sense. But it will make sense to you internally. Like, damn, I did everything right, and shit still went the wrong way. Because you deep down, you know you weren't really doing everything right. You may have been doing everything right from an external standpoint, from a logical left brain standpoint of, oh, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to get this amount of money, I'm going to meet these amount of people, I'm going to present myself this way, and once I do all of this, everyone's going to think I'm great, and then just for, you know what I'm saying, God to come and poke a hole in that armor, and you, you get exposed for all that shadow work that, sh um, that you didn't do and that you were trying to hide, whereas if had you just done that work and been okay and say, you know what, fuck all that, trying to hide this. You know, this is basically what Dolo be talking about when he says you use your vulnerability for your ego, not using your ego to protect your vulnerability. Whenever you're trying to use your ego to protect your vulnerability, it seems like you're getting it good while it getting good, but eventually this is going to lead to self-sabotage, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people are spiritually lazy because they don't want to do that shadow work, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to put in that work. They don't want to study for that test. They don't want to do the independent grind and get all the fans on their own. No, they want to cheat and go out and party and shit like that. Or they want to blow up overnight, get a diamond chain, and let the label handle all of their promotion and stuff like that. But down, down the line, all this manifests is situations of you getting caught for cheating, kicked out of school, or you being trapped in a label deal that you don't actually want and then not having no fans where you could have just grinded shit out the real hard way and then you, you would have been cool and you could have partied and shit after you passed the test, you know what I'm saying? Or you could have had the lit fan base after you put in the work and developed genuine connections with people. But we'd be so quick to just, because we don't understand that life is about learning, right? So you don't be trying to learn shit, you'd be trying to get what you desire. So that's pretty much, um, that's pretty much how to stop all the self-sabotage, is realizing what's the kind of purpose of life, you know what I'm saying? Your purpose of your life isn't to just get what you desire. But a lot of people think that's just what it is, just getting what you desire. No, the purpose of life is to learn. Life is like a school, you know what I'm saying? It's, you're here to learn what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? And it's not, that sounds terrible and boring, and I see why people be trying to avoid that, myself included, but it's not all, it's like you gotta, you gotta walk before you crawl type shit, you know what I'm saying? It's really just the way things ha happen, the way things are brought into existence. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta work with shit. It don't just ha happen overnight, you know what I'm saying? And if, the more you try to avoid that, the more you're gonna create self-sabotage situations and meet shadow priests. But like I said, meeting a shadow priest is necessary to a certain extent to wake you up to your own power, right? You're not gonna go through ho your whole life never self-sabotaging, never, you know what I'm saying, um, manifesting catastrophic tower moments because these are, these things are really necessary to teach you, oh, okay, because otherwise, then you'll just stay lost in the external if you never have that catastrophic um, shadow priest moment. And a shadow priest is basically someone or a circumstance or situation that you encounter when you thought you were doing everything right externally, but the but the situation still blew up and went wrong. And then you're gonna that's you're gonna get that little moment of intuition. You better not ignore that intuition. That's like damn. You can try to justify it and be like, oh, okay, this maybe this just went wrong because the, nah. But deep down, you be knowing. Oh, okay, this went wrong because I was trying to use this, that, and the third to cover insecurity, or I was trying to use this, that, and third to shortcut a certain energy that, that I know I need to really be working on. And then at that point, then that's you saying you gotta. Then you gotta know, okay, God, I ain't gonna bullshit no more. I'm gonna go go do things the right way. You know what I'm saying? And then from there on, you should be good. And then that's that self sabotage situation plays out as a shadow priest, and it's not too catastrophic of a situation that you can't bounce back from because you did learn what you need to learn. You know what I'm saying? We all got a certain amount of grace to an extent, but don't you be a little demonic spirit 
and and fucking after that happens, you know what I'm saying, okay, I'm going to do shadow work for a little bit, then you see another opportunity um, to to kind of get a shortcut or get ahead or some shit like that, and then you start rubbing your bird, hand, hands like Birdman, Birdman hand rub, like, oh, okay, I'm going to do the same shit again, because, you know what I'm saying, God not going to have grace every time, you know what I'm saying, and that, that catastrophic situation might be something that you can't bounce, bounce, bounce back from, you know what I'm saying, I mean, it might be over after that, fool, God be like, fool me twice, I mean, God be like, fool me once, shame on you, you know what I'm saying, fool me twice, motherfucker, shame on me, and God not finna have no shame, you know what I'm saying, nah, so fuck all that, so it's, it's finna be, your ass is grass, you know what I'm saying, so don't, don't try to be a little demonic spirit, you know what I'm saying, once you, once you manifest enough self-sabotage to learn what I'm talking about in this video, then just learn to love the process, learn to, you know what I'm saying, learn to love to go, fuck the shortcut, there is no such thing as a shortcut, you know what I'm saying, there is no such thing as hiding your insecurity, you just got to work on what you're insecure about, you just got to work on what you're trying to um, attain in life, and stop trying to always appear perfect from the jump, you know what I'm saying, stop trying to, yeah, and that's why this, the world's so fucked up right now, because everybody on, and I love IG and shit like that, don't get me wrong, don't get it fucked up, but everybody trying to, you know what I'm saying, just pop out a million followers overnight, you know what I'm saying, pop out on top of the world overnight, night, because that's the kind of keeping up with the Jones competitive energy that we're all in, but this this shit is really, it's, y'all got the game fucked up though, you know what I'm saying, it's like, you gotta be, you gotta put in that work, you gotta stay down until you come up, not just get rid of the come up and just, oh, I was, I was just born up, no you weren't, you 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 did something demonic to, to appear that way, and eventually that's gonna fall and create a catastrophic situation for yourself, watch, it never fails, you know what I'm saying, so just, like I said, you do need a certain amount of self-sabotage to get on a spiritual path, but once you self-sabotage enough, don't keep making it happen over and over and over, like, you can't avoid it, so just do that shadow work, right? So, um, if you still avoid sabotage, the shadow work, and you experience like that, then you ain't, <laughs> I pretty much said that already, I said, if you still avoid shadow work and self-sabotage after an experience like this, then you ain't shit as a spirit, and you ultimately fear your own power, boom, okay, so, um, this is kind of like that quote, that Coach Carter quote. Shout out to Coach Carter. You know what I'm saying? Fellow, fellow ball nigga Coach Carter. You know what I'm saying? When well, he asked in the little uh, light-skinned Cubano nigga on the team, uh, what's your greatest fear, Mr. Miles? And they're like, why do you keep saying that? You know what I'm saying? That's basically a quote from that poem, um, which is very uh, on point for exactly what I'm talking about. And I don't know the words exactly, but I know something like, I used to have it on my refrigerator, low-key. But um, it's like, our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our greatest fear is that we are powerful beyond all belief or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's really like self-contradictory. You like, um, you'll be trying to avoid, like you not doing your shadow work is essentially you fearing your own power. It's you being afraid because you know that you can't do it, but it's like, it, it plays out as you acting like everything's in reverse down here. So like it played like since you fear of how powerful you are, it'll play out down here as you and as opposite as you thinking, oh, OK, um, I'm not that powerful. So I need to get external validation and external circumstances to prove how powerful I am. But like deep down, it really be you fearing like, OK, because you know, your spirit knows anything is possible, and it knows that when it, it can, well, once it sets its, you know what I'm saying, intentions in the right place and, and does what it needs to do on that path, anything is possible, but you may just be lazy to it a certain extent, and a lot of times that laziness comes from you fearing your own powerful, because, your own power, because a lot of times um, we will like, We'll, we'll, like, like, like the poem says, our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our greatest fear is that we are pow powerful beyond belief. A lot of the times, it sounds retarded, but it's like we're all, all spirits are kind of retarded. That's why we in physical bodies in the first place. You know what I'm saying? We got we get lost in these desires. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it gets real deep. It's like you you gotta because the spirit is all possible and all powerful, but it's still needs a vessel to play these things out and it's like it likes to like the spirit likes to get lost into things you know what i'm saying so it likes to really identify with this mind and identify with this flesh that is created all the way to the point that to thinking 
oh, I can't, I, I, all possibilities is impossible. I'm only limited to what this physical vessel can do or what this mind can do and shit like that because really this, your spirit is no thing, you know what I'm saying? So it always wants to be something, you know what I'm saying? So, but a part of being that, getting lost into that something is cutting off its quote unquote all power, it's all of its potential, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like the spirit be getting high to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're like all of this is that's why they like people who be taking ayahuasca and all them like hippie drugs and shit like that. And I'm not necessarily saying that's like a path to enlightenment or no shit like that. But like they get this realization that like like life is like life's shots to trippy red. Like life's a trip, you know what I'm saying? Like even when he dropped that album, I was like, damn, like I didn't trip acid a couple times and I know I like verbatim said that. I was like, yo. Life is like a trip, you know what I'm saying? But what that really means is that, like, your spirit just, like, be getting high. If you wanted to, like, because what do you, it's, it's, it's the same thing we do down here. What do we get high for in the physical realm to get, to escape reality, right? To get away from our problems and shit like that. So that's what your spirit be doing. Your spirit is no thing. It has no shape and form. So to kind of become something, you know what I'm saying? It wants to really escape from that no thingness and become something so that's like its version of taking a drug and getting high is like believing that it is these things that it creates you know what i'm saying believing that it's the mind believing that it is the flesh you know what i'm saying and it can get so high it can get so deep into that belief that it'll forget its own power you know what i'm saying and this is how your physical vessel will fear not that it is inadequate but fear that it is powerful beyond belief because that's ta taking it back to the spirit realm, right? It's like, oh, okay, I'm really no thing. I'm really all possibilities. But the whole reason that you got high and created this body was to forget that in the first place. You know what I'm saying? You wanted to be finite. You wanted to be... It's like the same way how, like, celebrities and famous people, they might desire somebody to talk to them like they ain't shit. Like, because they're so used to people putting them up on a high horse. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we're always just looking for equilibrium. So, yeah, don't think... Like, if, like, the spirit is no thing, so it'd be lo looking for, like, confinement and constraint and not being all possibilities, and you know what I'm saying? That's, like, a part of life's a trip, you know what I'm saying? It's, that'd be, like, a part of the experience, but you got to have equilibrium. You can't get stuck in that energy for too long. You can't get lost in the flesh for too long. You got to realize, okay, no, it's about, and we always fail, but we're always trying to make something look like no thing, so we're always trying to have a limited form play out some unlimited all possibility energy you know what i'm saying so that's like a real juicy contradiction starbucks start not starbucks starburst and that's really hard to do sometimes but hey we all gotta you know, we gotta try the master i always say the master is just the one who fails the most times you know what i'm saying so don't let your fear of your own power stop you um from putting in that necessary work that you know will pay off you know what i'm saying Shouts to Dame Dash. He always says, I've never seen somebody give 100% and then not pay off. You know what I'm saying? And we be knowing that, but we be, like, lying to ourselves because we, like the poem says, our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate, is that we are powerful beyond all belief. So how do you kind of make amends with this energy and don't self-sabotage as much? Um, this means if you fear your own power too much, this means you need um, divine feminine shadow work, a.k.a. You need unconditional love for yourself because you're stuck in a cycle of trying to prove or get validation based off of external, aka masculine, manifestations, right? But the kind of trick is you're not able to receive these um, blessings or these external world representations, right? Because you have a damaged divine feminine, you know what I'm saying? So your divine feminine is even how you are, make yourself open up enough to actually receive all of the things of the world. You are, you're, you're both of these things. You're the divine masculine and the divine feminine. So you be thinking, oh, I need all this external representation to, to, to um, you know what I'm saying, show how great I am. And there's nothing wrong with that external representation, that masculine, that, you know what I'm saying, materialization, manifestation, energy, but until you can get okay with being nothing, healing that divine feminine, having that unconditional love for yourself with 
as the way you are right now without all those external representations just being okay just be like i always say the song just be thankful for what you got or like i always talk about um the the friday gun quote oh you think you a man with that gun i'm a man without it until you can be a man without that gun until you can be thankful for just what you got even if it ain't shit, you know what I'm saying? That's that divine feminine. That's that unconditional love. That's that no, not needing to go out and prove um, and, th and get things to show how great you are and, and get all these manifestations and materializations and say, ha, look at all this. I'm the man. I'm the man. I'm the woman. All that kind of shit. No. You got to, and now, and, and you thinking, oh, once I get all these things, then I'll be able to love myself. Where you just get those, all these things of the world and you that void just for some reason gets bigger and you end up hating yourself more and then you want to give all that shit away and it was just weird it's because you try to take that shortcut you know what i'm saying you self-sabotage so one way to um prevent self-sabotage is to like i said work on that divine feminine i made a video about how to do um divine feminine divine masculine i'm gonna put it up i'm not gonna be a dumbass spirit and say oh i'll probably no i'm gonna put it up this time you're gonna see it pop in the corner watch that video you know what i'm saying so that'll teach you how to um, you know what I'm saying, get more to your divine feminine, which is basically being okay with how you are, you know what I'm saying, physically, you know what I'm saying, whether that's dealing with physical insecurities, um, being okay with your mentality, you know what I'm saying, so you don't overthink so much and be so self-critical in the mind and, and in the emotional states as well. And then spiritually, just understanding not not being so um, insecure about the, the spiritual space that you come from, you know what I'm saying, which basically plays out as your gifts and your talents and what you have to offer from the world. So a lot of the times we'll be like ashamed of our gifts and our talents and we'll be thinking, oh, these things ain't worth shit because they may not make a lot of money or they may not get a lot of attention or, or they may not, may not be expressed in the way that the shadow government um, wants you to express these things, but that's not the point. It's the point is to be you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else is taken. You know what I'm saying? So the way you do whatever it is, the way you do hair, the way you do nails, the way you make clothes, the way you make music, the way you make art, the way you plant plants, the way you decorate houses, the way you, you know what I'm saying, hook up cars, the way you build buildings. That's is not about all. Oh, okay, that's not what people in, in the world think is okay. That's the whole point. It's just you got to do this shit your way, you know what I'm saying, and be okay with that. So be okay with however your gifts play out, you know what I'm saying, or however your mentalities, um, your thoughts and your feelings from that gift play out and be okay with the vessel that is created, a.k.a. your physical body that's a representation of all these things play out, you know what I'm saying, because it's not about being beautiful by a certain standard or smart by a certain standard or created by a certain standard it's just about fuck the standard you know what i'm saying we got to just be who we are you know what i'm saying have that divine feminine love for that unconditional love for ourselves and then and only then will we not because once that's what causes all self-sabotage because once you, once you're okay with your divine feminine you're okay with you know what I'm saying the way you are and you're not trying to change it too much that makes you comfortable enough to do the shadow work and work on your weaknesses and work on your insecurities and stuff because you don't feel the need to go out and prove these things or hide these things with external materialization and manifestation. That's divine masculine. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with that, but until you can be okay with how you just are as is natural without all those things, then you're going to keep going to try to work in reverse, work backwards and go out and prove uh, um, how great you are or how not damaged you are or how beautiful you are based off external representations that's you taking a shortcut and eventually that's going to um, lead to a self-sabotage circumstance and situation until, until you finally sit your ass down and just realize okay I can't avoid this shadow work let me study for this test let me build this organic fan base you know what I'm saying let me just do shit quote unquote God's way and you're not going to be comfortable staying in that energy long enough if your divine feminine isn't in order. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be cool. Um, you got to love yourself unconditionally and not care if you don't have the external representations. Now, I'm not saying get too lost in that energy and not manifest and attract material. No. You know what I'm saying? Get your money. Get all the, the pleasures of the world. I'm not saying that. But it's like a it's like an order and a science to these things. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to sell your soul to the world and get too lost into that um, in order to hide um, you know what I'm saying, who you truly are, which is no thing, 
but it's like you do got a unique perspective and that um that's that's who you are in this 3d realm you know what i'm saying your own unique perspective so just get comfortable with that love that unconditionally foster that unconditionally no matter how long it takes no matter how much it seems like it's not being received well from the external world no matter how much it seems like it don't make sense it don't make money i put in my story just yesterday everything that's stupid is smart and everything that's smart is stupid so you may feel really dumb um when you're like because the divine feminine isn't logic logic that's masculine you know what i'm saying that's the divine masculine so a lot of times when you're hopping to your divine feminine energy you may feel like you're being dumb or like you're not you're not making sense and shit like that but that's really the point it's like it's not about the divine feminine isn't about being logical or being right or wrong it's just about it is what it is and being cool with you know what i'm saying whatever the circumstance the situation is you know what i'm saying and eventually if you stay in that energy long enough then <laughs> it will become the right way to do things you know what i'm saying and it's like damn okay so now you see that like the subjective creates the objective and the objective don't create the subjective you know what i'm saying it's like whoever can just be comfortable and confident and, and love themselves enough no matter how that looks or whatever that then becomes the standard of what gets respect and what gets materialization and admiration in the world you know what i'm saying but a lot of us be avoiding that because we're taught to be ashamed of our individuality ashamed of where we come from spiritually ashamed of these vessels that we created ashamed of our thoughts of our feelings you may have a certain thought or feeling that comes into you that oh why did i think that and you try to repent to god and shit like that and it's like you ain't none of these things so just who cares it was a weird thought okay it was a weird feeling who says it was weird really you know what i'm saying just don't get too attached to these things don't get too lost in these things and that, that teaches you to be comfortable with them and just let them let thoughts and feelings come and go you know what i'm saying and then now you're 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 just free as a spirit and now you're able to um basically not feel like you need to cover up your nakedness with some kind of cloth some sort of external representation or manifestation you can just you know what i'm saying be cool the way you are and then now you know what i'm saying you're putting in the work over time to do things quote unquote god's way and you're not creating self-sabotaging situations because you're not too lost in an external desire right because you don't necessarily need those external desires because you're good without them but you you also know if i stay in this energy long enough I'll get all that shit of the world too because it ain't just about being broken and dusty in the forest and shit like that. It's always about equilibrium, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hi, I think that's pretty much it. But you'll never be able to receive the external representation with the damage of the feminine. You must be okay with nothing. You must be okay with nothing to receive everything. That's the fat last little quotable I'm going to leave y'all with. That's how and why we self-sabotage the spirits and how to not do it anymore. I appreciate y'all for watching and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.